All right, so you got your needle in the patient. Getting beautiful flow. The setup you want, and this should all be set up obviously before you poke the needle in, is put your manometer together. Yep, that's what we there. did. Yep. And though in most patients it's not necessary to go that long. Yep. The manometer plugs into the top portion of your through a stopcock, and you face it away from the actual male portion. So now it's going to be open here and flow up your manometer. And then you uh, take your tubing. And now this gets attached. Oh, wow. Okay. And now you'll start getting flow. This has to be level with the actual entrance of the needle. There could be some bending. That's fine if it's easier for you to see, but it has to be level. It's going to flow from here. Up, 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 and it's going to keep going, and then down, up, up, down, up. And when it starts just staying around the same perturbation point with respiratory cycling, that's your opening pressure. Now, at that point, you don't waste all the fluid that's coming to here. You take your first tube, you position it right here, and then you turn this so it's facing the patient. That's going to turn it off there and drain everything in the tube into there. Then, once that's done, face it up towards the manometer. It's going to keep draining. All right. At this point, I like to take the manometer out because it becomes unwieldy. When you have enough in that first tube, turn off the stopcock. You don't have to turn it off all the way. Just that diagonal will stop the flow. Now, take your next tube. And then turn it again facing where the manometer was. Fill it up. You can drop the level now if the flow is just really slow. Turn it off. Etc. Etc. for tube three and four. When you're done, disconnect this, put the stylet back in and make sure it's fully engaged before you pull out your needle.